Well, good afternoon, everyone. This is Emily Castro, and my little buddy Dred and I are in Fulton County today. We are on the grounds of the Dixon Mounds Museum. I'm not even sure if the museum is open at the present. It looks extremely deserted, but it does say the grounds are open, so we're just going to take a little nature stroll and enjoy the peacefulness of this late November afternoon. As you can see, this parking area is pretty much completely empty. So here are the Dixon Mound Trails. It looks like if I take the yellow prairie path, so I think I want to take the purple path the blue path to the yellow path. Okay. Oh, here's a trail guide. But for now, I'm just going to try and remember purple to blue. This is just such an amazing, beautiful fall day. I've been so lucky to have such great weather to explore. So even though the museum looks like it is closed, not that I could go in there with dread anyway, um, I have been researching some of the history here of this area. So as I walk along, enjoying this peaceful nature trail, I will try and share what I remember. If I get any facts wrong or leave anything important out, please do leave me a comment. Alright, so it's not exactly saying what's purple and what's not. What is this? Let's continue back on this way, Dred, because I'm not sure. I don't want to do the woodland wander. I want to head towards the village site. Oh my, this might be an interesting trip in more ways than one. You see what I'm saying? As everyone knows, if me and Dread have a superpower, it's getting lost. So here's kind of a summary of what I've learned. Fulton County, here along the Illinois River Valley, is a site of incredible historical and archaeological importance. It has one of the highest concentrations of Native American archaeological sites, villages, and burial mounds uh, pretty much anywhere in the Midwest. I think there are over 3,000 known archaeological sites. And what is known of the prehistoric Native American cultures for historically minded people like me who really want to have the written sources is very frustrating. They are prehistoric because there is no written record. We only have the archaeological remains. But they can be categorized in basically three groups of time periods. The Archaic, the Woodland, and the Mississippian. The Archaic was the longest to go. That was pretty much hunter-gatherer tribes, Neolithic tribes. And then around 2,000 years ago were the cultures which are classified as the Woodland Period. And this period was divided up into three sub-periods, Early, Middle, and Late Woodland. And basically, by the end of the Woodland Period, They had developed agriculture, growing maize, um, started to build into villages and settlements. They had pottery, they had the bow and arrow. So it was just a time of a lot of cultural progress and change from being hunter-gatherers to having settled civilizations. And then the Mississippian period, which kind of coincides with the Middle Ages in Europe, that was a time of amazing cultural buildings, 
Uh, that's when you had the city of Cahokia down by St. Louis, for example. And then, for some reason, those prehistoric civilizations seem to disband or fade away. There are many, many theories of what could have led to the civilization's decline and downfall. Climate change is one, overpopulation, crop failure, strife and warfare amongst the groups, overextending their resources with their trading networks. All of these things might possibly have contributed. But the fact is that we really don't know. And here at this site, there are actually traces of all three of the periods. And there are mounds and village settlements from both Woodland and Mississippian. So this little area is extremely important. Native American archaeology. What do you smell? And as far as the Dixon Mounds themselves and the history of these mounds in the museum, unfortunately it is a darker story full of controversies. I do not know where I am going. Looks like I'm just skirting the prairie here. Okay, so ha. Huh. Here's the green trail. Finally, they give us a sign. Okay, so I was walking across the field to the green trail. What I want is the blue trail. It looks like Green leads to blue. We are on the green trail. If we see red, we've turned the wrong way. And what happened in this area is the land was purchased by the Dixon family sometime around the, the era of the Civil War. When they planted trees for their orchard, they discovered lots of bones, human remains. And this was just something known by the family that basically their family farm was atop of burial mounds. In the 1920s, a chiropractor from that family named Don Dixon started excavating and digging. And unlike many amateur archeologists of his day, instead of unearthing everything and taking it away, he left it as it was. I think there was something like 400 bodies that he uncovered in this mound. How are you feeling insecure, Dad? Why don't you go ahead for a while? And he built a kind of barn-like structure over the top of them, left them as they were, and charged people 50 cents a pop to come in and look. And that was the beginning of the Dixon Mound Museum. Eventually, the state of Illinois bought his museum, continued to operate it as a branch of the Illinois State Museum. And here's the really bad part. They continued to display the burial until 1992. There was a lot of controversy, and finally, the display was covered up. And just walking the trail here, if I hadn't researched online and learned all of these facts about the wonderful archaeological heritage literally underfoot here, obviously I would have no idea. Which is one of the fascinating things. Is that how frequently, without our even knowing, like there's literally history underfoot. And there's traditions going back centuries and even millennia in the very earth around us. Even though a lot of people think that Illinois is a boring state, I would say it's anything but boring. 
And this is the kind of thing that just makes it endlessly fascinating for me. Trying to get Ted to go ahead of me so I can film his peeking for a lot. But he doesn't seem to want to be ahead of me. Let's see how long he sticks to What color are you? Blue. We want blue. So that's green. I don't want the I want this one. All right, it's two o'clock. The gates close at 4.30. We've got some time. These trails are not supposed to be very long. What color is this? Blue. We are still, we are still on blue. Dread, the sun is plummeting in the sky. We have a long drive home. We must get out of the woods. the thing about November, late November, we're less than a month away from the winter solstice. The days are not lasting very long. I can hear the road again. We must be getting back to civilization. So here's the picnic shelter. But this is proof we're not lost in the woods. Oh, this is not what I was hoping, but we'll see what it is. Dixon Mound Trails. Yes, we're going on Dixon Mound Trails. Oh, you know what? I got to the Eveland site despite myself. Yay me. Let's see what it says. The Evelyn site and burial mound from around 1100 AD was excavated from 1958 to 1960 by the Illinois State Museum. So right here is the site of a Native American village that existed a thousand years ago. All right, Dredd and I cannot possibly get lost from here. I am literally walking towards the museum. So I hope you have enjoyed exploring the grounds of the Dixon Mound Museum with me and Dredd, hearing a bit about the history, watching us get lost and found in the woods, Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to catch you again for my next adventure. Bye for now.